we were going towards Greffeld, in the, area, in the area of Greffeld, and we went too far away from the city. So all of a sudden we saw food coming in, like, like we see in the area, we had chow. We saw the cooks line up the pots over there with the food in it. Every once in a while you get a shell now and then coming in. There was an officer at the end of the, uh, at the, end, at the, end of the chow line making sure that the guys they weren't gang up, you know, make sure there was one at a time. Because we were, in a, we were getting shelled. Every once in a while we were here, we coming in, the, the idiots were coming in. We were on the bottom of the little hill, and we, we were under some trees. We, uh, the, the German couldn't see where we were. Otherwise, they would pulverize us. So I, I, got, I got on the line, and I'm picking up my chow. You know, we had a, we had a, a cooked chicken, roasted chicken, peas, and mashed potatoes. That was heaven. <laughs> after after carrying for a while, the cook was putting coffee in my uh, canteen cup. I spotted a woman not too far away, civilian. She was pregnant with a little child uh, alongside her. I think she was about five so six years old, something like that. And man, you could see that little kid, raggedy, and plus, you could see over here, you could see the bones over here. I said to myself, damn, they're starving the dead. So I went over, I made a bill line, and I went, I went to the woman, and I gave her my food. No sooner I gave her my food, she started to cry. Tears coming down her eyes, and a little girl, alongside of my mother, She's pulling her dress, mother, mother, mother. All of a sudden, I hear, Vitiglio, you son of a bee, get over here. So I went back, I said, yes, sir. He says to me, did you know what you did? I said, yes, sir. I gave food to that woman. She's starving. She, he goes to me, do you know you're not even supposed to talk to them? And you on the front of me, you give them a food. I said, sir, they, they were starving. You know, you're good for court martial. You're going to go up on court martial. I said, May, uh, I said, sir, I don't give a damn what you're going to do to me because by morning, you and me, we're not going to be alive. We're going to be dead. Did you see those shells coming in? We ain't got nowhere to go. And then I said, sir, reverse the situation. Make, make believe Germans, they were in, uh, in the United States. Your wife and kids, it was the same situation, starving the dead. Your wife is pregnant with a little kid, and one of the German soldiers would go to her and give her food. How would you feel? And he says to me, get the F out of here, son of a bee.